Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. It's time again for the knife of the day. This is the series where I go through my entire collection, one knife at a time, one day at a time. We do it Monday through Friday. Um <laughs> I've been I've been waiting for this knife. It's not practical. But I love it. It's brand new from Spydeco. Um, it's it's the second Spydeco flash batch knife. Flash batch knife. They're limited edition knives. Now the difference between a Spydeco flash batch and a Spydeco sprint run is simply this. Uh, the flash batch, these knives have never existed except for this limited edition. They retool, they create the knife, and then they're done. They do, in this case, they did 1,200 of these knives, and then they're done. Sprint runs are really another version of an existing knife. It, it could be a knife that hasn't been made in years, um, but... For instance, next year in 2018, I'm recording this in 2017, Spydeco's coming out with a sprint run of a brand new Copa knife, the small gentleman's folders knife. Those haven't been done for over a decade, but it was an existing knife. So that's the difference <laughs> with a flash, a flash batch, and I love this. Once it was even announced, I couldn't wait. This... My friend, so obviously both sprint runs and flash batches, because they are limited edition, they are collector's items. You can use them, obviously. They're real knives, um, but they did them limited because they know in a year or so they'll start going up in value most of the time. This one is great. First of all, it is the Spydeco Darndale. It is a Bob Lum creation. Um, the late Bob Lum, just a Hall of Fame um, custom knife maker who has done a number of knives for Spydeco. At the end of this, I'm going to show you a couple of the Tanto knives. Now, he brought uh, a lot of Japanese Tanto knives. Uh, in this case, what he did was and they're a little bit different than the American versions. And you'll see two fixed blades and a folding blade of a Bob Lum Tanto. All three of those knives will, are sprint runs. This one, what he did was, it's inspired from a big broadsword of the classic Chinese martial arts. You know, it's a sword. Um, and so what he did was he brought it down a little bit. And he made a custom knife out of it. This is Spydeco's version. Now, Eric Glesser, the son of Sal Glesser, who's helping his father run the company, Spydeco, actually <laughs> has a video from Blade Show, or Shot Show, I forget which one, where he's talking about the Darndale, and he said, oh, unfortunately, I didn't bring the production one. I grabbed the custom instead because that's how close it is, and he shows it, and it is very close to the custom. So let's talk about this. Um, it's a 10.6 inch blade. It's a biggie, folks. It really is. Oh, I love this knife. <laughs> I do, I do, I admit it. Um, it has, it's, the total length is 16.3 inches. It weighs one pound, 1.8 ounces, one pound and 1.8 ounces, but man, it's so well balanced. It's unbelievable. Full flat grind with the swedge on top. Of course, the swedge on top is not sharpened. Comes out as sharp as can be. And we're talking really nice steel. CPM Crucible's 154 steel. CPM 154 steel. So we're talking about huge steel. 
I mean, a uh, huge knife with excellent steel. Just really nice. Ah, I love it. <laughs> the handle, and I've told you guys a lot of times um, that I think Spyderco does smooth G10 better than anyone. It feels so nice and so smooth. This is black G10 handles, stainless steel. I, you know, I don't know if it's stainless steel or it's a titanium screws. I bet you it's titanium screws. They usually do that on the high-end knives. I don't know. I should check that. Full tang, most of Spyderco's fixed blades. And on this channel, you can check the... Um, playlist i've done all of the um all of the fixed blade spyderco knives there's video that i own there are videos of them i don't own all of them but just a real nice thing has a fluted lanyard hole <laughs> um full tang so it doesn't stop right here at the handle where it can break it goes all the way down and this is interesting because when Eric Glesser was being interviewed about the knife and showing off the custom knife, the person said, yeah, and I see how it, it gets smaller at the, you know, towards the end of it. And he says, yeah, you know, that's a handmade knife. I think it was less than 10 of them made. I, I'm, I'm guessing, I, I thought they said something like five or six of them made. And he says, yeah, that's that detail that makes it really fit great towards the end of the knife and he said but i'm not sure i have to be honest with you i'm not sure that the production one we did that well they did as you can see and it feels just wonderful you know is it practical sure you can go whack <laughs> and chop things with this knife uh you can whack weeds with it if you want uh, but of course, it only 1,200 of them are made. I love it. Um, it comes with a wonderful sheath. Look at this sheath. Quality sheath. And then it has a carrying case. A long spidical carrying case. Sheath, knife, carrying case. They really went all out for this uh, knife. I like it because for me, this is the kind of knife that I will have, because uh, I'm that guy, on my desk so that when the doorbell rings, I have it at my side. You know what? The doorbell rarely rings because <laughs> I have someone at the front desk in my apartment house, but I still do it, sometimes just to scare people. But I really like this. This is a... <laughs> dare I even say, yeah, it, it could be kind of tactical. <laughs> I really love this knife. It's so fun. This and the new Southern Flipper, which still hasn't been released yet from Spyderco, I can't wait, were the two knives I just couldn't wait to get in my hands. And this one, is it practical? No. Is it fun as hell? Yes. Am I happy to have it? Yes. As a collector, I love it. Um, it's just a wonderful knife. Again, this is the Spydeco Darn Dao, D-A-R-N-D-A-O. It's a flash batch. Mine is number 23 because I'm a, <laughs> 23 is my collector's number. So every Spydeco that's released, uh, people always ask, how come you have that number on your knife? Some of the knives that I have bought off of people they were collectors, so I have different numbers, but 23 is my number. So every Spydeco, the 23rd one, is going to Keith Kevin Ken. <laughs> okay. In this batch, of course, is number 23 of 1200, the limited edition. Just love it. There you have it. That is the Spydeco Darn Dale. Yeah, it's Flash Batch. Mine is 23 of 1,200. They only did 1,200. 10.6 ounce, 10.6 ounce, 10.6 inches of CPM 154 steel. They did not skimp on the steel at all. Here's the Sprint Run Tanto first, the two fixed blades. 
which are beautiful. And again, uh, this is uh, just wonderful. Handles, feels nice. This is the folding tanto. That's a sprint run as well. I just want you to get a little flavor of the great Bob Blum um, with this big, big knife. One pound, 1.8 ounces. That's how much it weighs. And it's a beaut. There you have it. That's the knife of the day. Should I say sword of the day? Should I say big A knife of the day? I'm Hey, I get happy about these knives, okay? I know some people love just the whole technical thing. That's great. There are a lot of wonderful, a lot better than I am, YouTubers who are very technical. So after I slobber and tell you how much I love this, go check out the technical people, okay? <laughs> who go on and on about what CPM 154. I'm just happy to have this knife. Thank you for watching. This is the knife of the day. I actually have two more new Spyderco's and I'll do them tomorrow together because they're the same knife, kind of fun knives. Um, and so we'll do that to tomorrow and then we'll get back to going through my collection where we're working on Chris Reeve knives, browse blade knives and Microtech automatic out the front knives. And so we'll pick up with that collection after we do uh, another new one. Hey, as the new Spyderco's come in, we're going to interrupt what we're doing and do the new Spyderco's and then we'll go back going through the collection. If you're enjoying this series, don't forget to thumb it up just to keep me going. Seriously. Uh, also, subscribe that really helps me out and turn once you subscribe hit that bell i can tell you now only less than 30 percent of the people who enjoy these videos are actually subscribed it would really help me if you enjoy these to subscribe it just helps really appreciate all of you you guys take good care of yourselves if you're cold this is the cold kind of season in your area keep warm and uh, take good care of your families and your friends. You guys have a good one. Keep those pockets full. Or in this case, <laughs> strap it to your belt. You guys have a good one. Goodbye.